For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Hello everybody out there. Um, this is the tittle of the day for uh, July 22nd, 2014. Um, I really just have a couple of questions now um, today and I appreciate any comments about it. Um, everything that's going on with Hamas and Israel and um, ISIS and Russia and us and everything else, uh, Ukraine and all that. Um, you know, I was reading and I was reading these particular verses and to me, this is, um, I think what Jesus was talking about in Matthew 24. So I want to look at these verses and get your opinions on um, if this is what we're looking at. Okay, uh, Genesis 25, 22 through 24. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to acquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be uh, separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, Behold, there were twins in her womb. Okay. Um, labor pains, warring in the womb. Is this what Jesus was talking about in Matthew 24, 6 through 8? And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Uh, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And beginning of sorrows also means labor pains. Um, I mean, we're seeing that right now. We're seeing, I mean, in America, we don't see as much famine and, and pestilence, but we are seeing earthquakes in diverse places. And it's very interesting also that here Jesus is almost prophesizing about the internet and and things like that because how can anyone in when he's speaking to his disciples here how can anyone and and some more of the people too but how can anyone see earthquakes in diverse places and set for today like right now back then right now we can but back then if they were to have an earthquake in China they wouldn't know in the Middle East, you know, that there was an earthquake there or an earthquake in, in, um, you know, Europe or in America or South America or anywhere else. They wouldn't know that earthquakes were going on in diverse places is what I'm trying to say. They would only know regionally where earthquakes were happening, right? So Jesus is prophesizing, saying you'll be able to see worldwide how earthquakes are having, are, are taking place all over. And we are seeing that, um, we're seeing all of this stuff. We're seeing wars and rumors of wars. Um, um, I mean, we're seeing everything. And, I mean, we really shouldn't be troubled, though, like Jesus said, because um, if this is what is coming to pass, then uh, we should be ready for, get ready for his return and, and to get out of here, right? Our blessed hope. But, okay, now let's also put this with Genesis three fifteen through 16. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Um, unto, unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and, and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. Okay, so it's like, in a way, it's almost talking about, it's talking about Eve, but it's almost talking about Israel at the same time, right? Um, in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. Okay, and thy desire shall be thy husband. Who's the husband? Jesus, and and he shall rule over thee. Okay, so whether Israel real, realizes it or not, you know Jesus is ruling over them um, until they you know come and say, um, "Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord." Right, and then they'll all truly know at that point. Um, but you see, this is kind of prophesizing the same thing. I mean, because we know that the seed of the serpent is many different things. Um, Physically, it, it, in this world, it definitely is um, 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 
the Catholic Church. Um, it definitely is um, um, Islam. Okay, it, it's definitely a lot of these different things, but um, um, it definitely is a lot of these different things. Uh, but also spiritually, it's 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 the Nephilim and all that stuff underneath, right? So we know it's it's many different things. And Satan has to have all these different plans laid out because he can't see the future like God can. So he has to have all of these different groups and people and demons and other spiritual things to to, to aliens, all this kind of stuff to work to where he can pull one of his schemes off right he's got to have all these different schemes to be able to try to pull them off um which is just dumb because he's going to lose in the end okay so um matthew 24 labor uh, labor pains on earth now um islam and israel warring israel versus hamas and isis to come later okay so we see they're they're warring they've always been kind of warring but it's ramping up more and more and more it seems like now um Genesis 3, 15 through 16, is this what was foretold in the beginning? Is, is, is what's going on right now what was always foretold in the beginning? Okay, that's another question. Um, and then we see that out of this, though, like I just said, that Jesus will come and it will be a, a, our blessed hope. Uh, John 16, 21 says, As woman, when she is in travail, hath sorrow, because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of, of the child, she remembereth no more the anguish for, for joy that a man is born into the world. Okay, so right now Israel is having a lot of sorrow because, you know, their people are dying, they're having to go to war, all these things are happening. But I believe they're going to have great joy once Jesus comes back, right? And because they're going to realize, oh, he is our Messiah. And all of us are going to have great joy when the man is, is back into the world, right? Okay. Um, and also, same thing kind of goes along with this. I'm going to play this in uh, 1 Thessalonians 5. It speaks about the same thing, okay? 1 Thessalonians 5. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child. And, and sudden destruction doesn't come upon Israel and, and us as believers. It becomes it comes upon the, the other other um not non believers, right? Um, because sudden destruction comes upon them. Okay, not us, them. They shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, Hallelujah. and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Amen. Wherefore comfort yourselves together, and edify one another, even as also ye do. And Amen to that, right? Okay, so that's I believe what's kind of going on right now, and um, and it's really remarkable times that we live in that we're getting to experience and go through all this, and um, it should never be a, a scary or a terrifying thing. It should be um, a, a great thing. Yes, lives are being lost, but really, are they being lost or are they, you know, getting to go to be with the Lord and and, and right? I mean, so. Uh, don't ever be scared of these times. Be happy because our blessed hope is coming. Uh, wake and watch for Yeshua. God is love, and I love God. Amen. Eat my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? 
And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep.